Hello, Bakerton. Um, we just want to come to you, um, you know, as we are the church, we like to help out the whole person in the whole body. Um, as you probably figured out with our last week Bible study, we're talking about um, COVID-19 and whatnot and how you can stay uh, knowledgeable and keep yourself safe. Um, and we're going to do that again real quick video for you. Um, it shouldn't take me no longer than five uh, minutes, hopefully a little bit shorter than that. Um, but we just wanted to uh, come give you a video uh, to encourage you to do and make sure you hold out your civic duties um, as uh, American citizens of this great United States. Um, in Matthew 22 and 21, um, Jesus uh, is actually answering a question to the Pharisees. Uh, they're trying to catch him up, but uh, nonetheless, he answered the question that you ought to render the Caesar with the Caesars and render to God what is God. And without doing too much injury to that text or going into a deep Bible study, um, pretty much I believe Jesus is actually saying just um, there are some responsibilities that is okay for you to hold up as Christians in, the, um, in whatever government that you reside in. Uh, for us, it's the American government. Um, so with that being said, uh, I hope that everybody is registered to vote. If not, it's kind of too late right now to even do so, but always check your registration, registration status. I do that every once in a while, um, and I just go to uh, um, our uh, Georgia website to check our, my registration status. Um, but go do that and just make sure that you're still active in your registration status. However, um, what has been passed is that um, the absentee ballots, uh, actually, um, we could all do that uh, this year uh, because of everything that's going on. Um, the election day is on June the 9th. Um, and if you have not received your application for your absentee ballot, um, you have up until um, uh, May the 29th to make sure you do that either online um, or you can go down to the registration office here in Liberty County or whatever municipality you're actually residing in. Um, but if you're in Liberty County, you go down there. Uh, I'm not sure how they're doing it, if they're letting anybody in to come and actually do that. But, uh, please give them a call. Um, I'll put the information into the uh, description. Um, but you can actually also do it online at the same website that I'm actually going to make sure that it's posted, um, not only in the job, uh, not uh, in the description, but it's also posted it uh, right there in the screen. You should see it right now. Um, but you just go to that website, check your registration status, and you can actually apply for the absentee ballot there also. Um, so. Uh, make sure you have that done. I believe that there are some people that are expecting us to not vote um, because of that and um, and because of everything that's going on. So that's why we make sure that we do vote and that our voice is heard. Amen. Uh, next thing that we do want to make sure that you are on track in doing it. It's not too late for you to make sure that you have done your census. Um, uh, what the census does is actually allocates money um, uh, to uh, particular regions of America, regions of uh, counties and states and whatnot, make sure money is actually funneled correctly. Um, they can't funnel money correctly if they don't know how many people theoretically are in a certain area. Um, uh, a quick example of that is, uh, you know, you uh, if you have 10 people in your family um, and you only buy food to feed two, you have mismanaged money. Um, and um, so that's essentially what the census does. Um, you you want to make sure that money is not mishandled. Um, so therefore, you need an accurate count and an accurate head count of who is where and where they reside and those things like that. All right. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the myths and, uh, and all that. Just, you know, you can Google that. However, um, the census is actually easy to do. You can do it online this year. I think this is the first year that they're allowing that to happen. Um, but you can do it online, and it's actually my uh, 2020 census.gov. You should see that in the stream. Um, also, that will be placed in the video description also for you to uh, pick it up there and actually click on. Um, you have until October the 31st to actually complete that, but just go ahead and get it done now. Amen? All right. Um, again, we just thank you for sticking with us and praying for us and encouraging us. Uh, we ask that you continue that 
as we continue to go through this and just keep uh, tuned into our Facebook pages and into our YouTube page um, and channel to make sure you stay up to date, not just with the word of God, but for the information that is going to come out for the weeks to come. Amen. Uh, hopefully we will be able to see you soon. We miss seeing you in church and, um, and we ask that uh, we're hoping and we're praying that this thing will be over to where we can at least see you back in uh, the walls of Baby Ten. Amen. It's good to have a virtual church and for you guys to all sit in uh, with us uh, via um, whatever platform you're watching us with or and on your couch. However, we want to see you in the pew. So pray with us that we will be back in the walls of Baby Ten pretty soon. Um, and uh, that we continue, um, but in the meantime, that we continue to do what God has called us to do in this time. God bless you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate uh, to still maybe leave a message at uh, Baked and Missionary Back to Church. Call your deacon if you have any uh, questions and um, or if you need any assistance or any help. Please remember that we are still here to serve you. Amen. Um, so God bless you. Uh, we love you. See you soon.